the next day rises. It is now early in the morning. Um, let's see, Kendra, Daniel, and Roland, you didn't get much sleep uh, because of what has happened. Um, so you're a little bit tired. Mm. As for everyone else, uh, you had a good night's sleep. Every, none, nothing, nothing eventful happened. And currently, you're still in the guest quarters, um, having breakfast. Now, the the dishes that are on the table right now, they are of Avar related, like uh, Avar scrambled eggs, bacon, like something goat typical. Cheese. Uh, yeah, goat cheese and everything. Something. Something that's related to some of the stuff that the Avar. Like, so uh, some of them are delicious. Some of it, mm, not so much. Lyra grabs a little bit of everything, kind of sits down, and she kind of has like a thinking look on her face. Okay, right. am I there, or am I eating breakfast with my clan family? <laughs> um, everyone is in the guest quarters. Robots, you're eating with your family. Okay, cool. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make sure that uh, everything is in order. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start off on the guest quarters side. So if you want to chat while you guys are eating, do so right now. So Lyra, how do you feel? I don't even know how to feel. <laughs> well, just know that we're going to be right there beside you. We'll be backing you up. Yeah, that's true. Mm. And Sildar will actually uh, go, so this test, it's going to be a bit dangerous, if I remember correctly. May just be. I wish I could do something to help protect Lyra, but I think I'll just have to... Uh, Supporter from the side, uh, from the sides this time. It's definitely in the dangerous category. <laughs> yeah, it's right. not like we haven't faced danger so far. Checkmates, especially. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different this time. Never been in the fade before. And then you'll go. Well, it is a place that we go when we go to sleep. It's a dream, and of course, it's. Some people believe it's where we go to die. And, yeah. and everyone just goes silent when they hear the <laughs> word die. Mm. And Daniel just goes, Too soon. I... That's fine. No. I like the dream theory more, though. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of dreaming, I really could use some more of that. I don't get much sleep. Yeah, me too, Daniel says. Just why were you up so late? Well, I was worried, to be honest. Mm. I mean, just from what what Rovas is saying said, it just I don't know. It makes me worried. Fair enough. It's really different, but... Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't see myself liking the Avar lifestyle. I mean... And then he looks around and just sees if where Robots is and goes, Oh, she's not here. Good. <laughs> it's actually not too different from the Dalish. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly... Bit more spirits. I kind of have to agree with Daniel. It's not bad, but I kind of prefer Redcliffe. And... Hey. Good. Yeah. Uh, Daniel just says awkwardly and just. I mean, once you endure the cold and everything, I'm sure it's great. But as Kendra said, we were both born in a city and a little village. So. So I think I. 
I'm with you. As I said before, I prefer the Redcliffe lifestyle over the Avar lifestyle any day. Just, well, you may just not have much choice in the matter. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put, I, you know I'm gonna keep poking fun at you for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I'm dating an Avar. And Sildar just gets a little shuttle. <clears throat> and goes, Not you too, wolf! <laughs> Lena, at this time, she's still silent, and she's just eating, like, eggs, and and then she tries the goat cheese, and she tries to break off the topic. It goes, hmm, the, the goat cheese is pretty good. That's one thing that I like about the Avar. They, they make the best cheese. Hmm. And Roland will just go, yeah, the cheese is good, yeah. And he just has a little bit of a concerned look. Alright. And if there's anyone, if there's no other topics that you want to talk about, um, we can move on to Rovas. Oh, wait. I I turned to Meccano. We never did f get, have the auger look at your signs, did we? No, we have not. So hopefully we can be able to do that before the test begins. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you to check it out. Very well then. Thank you, Miss Arius. I mean, I, I, I will join you if you don't mind. Kendra's, Kendra's good. I I enjoyed the first trip to the auger. Hmm. Alright, I guess we should go there before the test begins. Yeah. We should probably go soon. Yeah, but first, let's finish our breakfast, shall we? Yeah. All right, now let's move on to Rovas. Now, Rovas, um, you haven't been with your family for a while, so it's a breath of fresh air that you're finally back in your <sighs> own room. And currently, you just came downstairs, and Anya and Yurid are still putting, like, placing in all the, the dishes. Um, it's the same stuff that I explained with um, with the yeah. others. And, but it's Ugh, a lot proper more proper cheese. The Lowlanders, they do not know how to yeah. make it. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's a lot more luxurious than exactly. the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and as you say that, Yurid goes, "Oh, oh, uh, good morning, Rovas. Uh, yes, the cheese is good, better than the Lander cheese, of course." <sighs> And she will say, so, how'd you sleep? Sleep? Oh yeah, that, that's something I should have done last night. I don't think I did. I've been working on formulas! Remember my whole coarse kiss recipe I was working on? The thing that combines, mm -hmm. like, regenerative health fruit plus rock armor? Think about it. Yes. Like, it creates a cast, yes. and meanwhile, the health fruit's just pumping in and your arm's healed. I was working on that most of the night. Because I've been able to work on it since I've been away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and your uh, chemistry, uh, your little experiments, yes. Yes. It'll work one day. Now Anya is actually just placing down like um, some stuff, and she she goes, "Morning, dear. Uh, would you like something to drink?" Uh, yeah. What do we got? Uh, we got some tea, we got some water. Um, I don't think we, we would have some Abba. Did you run out of Abba, Ayo Yurid? Yes. Oh! Killjoys. Uh, tea then. Probably could use the warmth. Good idea. And she uh, gets out um, a, a cup of tea for you. She places it right near uh, where you're going to sit. And she goes, eat up. It's a big day today. Yeah. <sighs> and she and Anya is sitting right in front of you. And as she just goes in and gets some uh, portion of cheese and some sausage. And and she and she looks at you specifically, Robas. Um, 
just describe to me how Robas is feeling right now. Eh, nervous. Nervous? You know, the whole, oh, you're gonna be Thane, best friend might be going to her death. <sighs> well, one of her best friends. <laughs> Alright, um, so she, she will look at you, Robas, and she looks at you and just tilts her head a little bit and she goes, something the matter, dear? A lot. Okay, I... Okay, the whole you didn't tell me about Da being an apostate. Remember that level of anger I had? Yes. Okay. Why didn't anyone tell me I was a Thane reincarnate? It's kind of important. Yes, I, I understand, but it was a little bit too late. I... I only got it at the last minute. Just just right after you left. Claire Stonely. No, they usually read the signs at birth. You've had a couple of young... Yeah, you've had time. Unless you weren't told, which I don't know why you wouldn't be. Honestly, I wasn't told. Okay then, no anger at you. Good. I will direct my anger at the right person. Yeah. I was like you, Rovas. I talked to the Thane. I placed all my anger at him. And... <laughs> oh, that must have been interesting. Please tell me you went full berserk. Oh, well, he wasn't sporting any new scars. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you don't know the half of it. But I did say about my feelings towards you becoming the next Thane. And, well... He told me that there wasn't much choice. He was dying. And he wanted you to be the next in line. I... I was furious, Revas. Yeah, I really was. I am too. And really freaking nervous. I know. That's, that's why I'm worried when you showed me the key. Yeah, that and the whole, oh, you're gonna die thing. <sighs> that, yes. <sighs> and she looks down. And just continues eating. And as for Yurid... <laughs> Darn. Um, for Yurid, uh, she... She still continues eating, and she... Looks at Robos a little bit, and she goes, <laughs> Well, cousin, um, I hope that your friend will survive the test. Yeah. Eh, Lyra will be fine. Uh, speaking of... Yes? And she just quickly just brings you over, and she plays, whispers in, has your mother heard about you know what? And out of character, she's talking yeah. about. Um, I can guess. Uh, not yet. I. She took the whole boyfriend thing better than I thought. Well, good. But I'm worried about Roland. I am too, but I want him here when that news is delivered. Right. Good idea. And on you goes. Something that you wanted to say, if you two? And Gear goes, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> you know, us. She had to tell me about her latest boyfriend. Really, the skull guy from Funic Tooth again? Ugh, you can do better. And she looks at Robots and goes, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Your, your, pa your past boyfriend, yes. <laughs> Before you met uh, Daniel. <laughs> oh, no, no, you dated that one. Oh. Oh, there. Well, technically, I dated him first, and then we broke up, and then I set him up with you. And then you two broke up, and... I don't know what happened after that. Well, I don't remember much. And I goes, you were drinking. Of course she was. Because family makes ale. That's why you date him. I... And she goes, well, not only that, but... Well, yes, the eyes. Rawr. Well... Too, but 
He wasn't my type. Obviously. Uh, anyway, can we stop talking about the embarrassing stories, please? Oh, but I've missed them. <laughs> oh, of really? Of course she you are not. Code of silence between us. You are not allowed to tell Blowlanders about this. We know too much about each other. We have destroyed ourselves in the past. Yes, I know that, your says. I know. No one goes to all like an avar. Mm. Yes. And at this moment, uh, a knock comes at the door. And Anya goes, Come in! And you see it's the Thane. And he comes in with a very serious look, and he says, It's about time. Ravos, get your friends, and we can begin. Mm. Gets up and goes to do that. Yeah. All right. So as everyone else has finished their breakfast, um, what is everyone going to do? Well, if not, weren't me, uh, Kendra, Mercano, and Gerard going to the auger? Yeah, you were about it to go to the auger. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you guys finished, and you guys leave to go and see the auger. Um, I would like for both. You both, the both of you, to roll for perception scene. Ooh, I do. And Robas, I'll let you do the same thing. Fourteen for Gerard. Ooh, twelve with three stunt for Joseph. 12. Nice. Uh, Eleven. Wow, I did better than my bird. Uh, yeah. uh for for Kendra and uh, Gerard. Kendra, you don't see anything. Gerard, you do see Robas. And Robots, you do see them heading off to the auger. Eh, let's them go. She's heading to the guest quarters. She wants All to right. have a chat. <laughs> All right. So let's focus on Gerard and Kendra first. So um, you guys do enter into the auger area, and you do see the auger there. And the materials that he has are kind of explicitly, including the key. But the thing is, is that uh, he looks back and goes, where are the others? Um, what? Out of character, oh, Mercano is with us, right? Yes. Um, no. Before the test, uh, we were hoping you would uh, look at our friend. Um, of course. Uh, what For what purpose? Um, Mercano will say, uh, you see, uh, Olga, I have these birthmarks, and they glow whenever I fight. And I was wondering if you could check on them, because apparently, according to a Dalish clan, they said that I was a part of a prophecy. So I was wondering if this is also related to the Avar. And he'll say, very well, let me look. Then he holds out his hand, and magic does come off of his hand, and the, the aura starts to glow around Mercano, and, and of course his birthmarks start to react. And then he gasps in shock, and he says, that's the thing that I was looking for. You, you need to be a part of this test too, Mercano. <laughs> what? The thing? What? <laughs> there was one ingredient that I was missing for this test. And that's it. The <laughs> birthmarks. They, they could help Lyra survive. Oh. Wow. Good for you. You brought you here before the test, Mercano. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. He, he kind of twitches a little bit. And goes, yes, I'm glad too. We get all the coincidences. Yes, <laughs> how weird. It is becoming the standard for our group. <laughs> <laughs> so well, how are, how is Marcano gonna help Myra in this and help us? 
Like, does he need to do something? Also, yes. do you know what these signs are? Marks are? The marks are the... It's, it's difficult to explain, but the marks are considered a, a sign. Are considered... Mm, you know what? If you can understand Alvar knowledge, then you'll understand what I'm going to say. You see, the final ingredient for this test is for someone of a powerful will, as well as a catalyst, to help with the, the chosen wielder uh, overcome the overbearing knowledge that the, the artifact is given. Okay. Makano, you were chosen by the gods to help Lyra. And Makano just goes, Well, I'm honored, but this doesn't make sense. Yeah, this... I'm a bit confused, too. Like, this is a very specific thing for him just to get these marks. <sighs> uh, he, he just goes like this. Um... Uh, how can I say this in Lowlander terms? Um, he. Mm. How about. Okay, how about you explain to us after the test? Good idea. Because, because we need her. Yeah, let's go. What What is Mercano going to have to do? He needs to hold on to the key. Because the key can be able, if his mark, one of his marks starts to react near Lyra, then she is chosen. If not, then I need to use magic to make sure that she is chosen. If she is willing to. Okay. Okay. Get this. Let's get started then. All right. Now at this moment, um, Lyra, you hear a knock on the door. Everyone else in the room does. Uh, the door opens, and Rovas is I... at the door. Hey, that was breakfast. Comes in, shuts the door. Where's everyone else? Oh, I think they mentioned going to see the Og. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should go do that. But I need to go talk to Daniel real quick. So. I'll be right back. All right. All right. So, Robas, uh, Daniel, uh, the area that you're in is actually a very private place that you should be in. And Daniel looks out, uh, uh, looks at one of the candles a little bit, just a little concerned. Mm. Yeah, okay. And he doesn't. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm just worried. That's all. Uh, what to be worried about? If Lyra survives the test. Yeah. Oh, she'll be I'm... fine. I need to believe that. I should too. I'll do a here quick. Uh, he looks at you, Rovas, and he'll say, Is something the matter? Yeah, a lot, actually. She is going to go over, sit down beside him. Okay, so I got some news. Um, okay. Apparently, I'm next in line to be Thane. What? My reaction, exactly. So, why? Uh, Thane reincarnate? Okay, you need to explain about this, because I don't understand. Okay. The Avon believe when you die, your soul goes to the lady. The lady holds the soul and purifies it. You maintain some level of instinct, and then, if the lady deems your soul worthy or necessary in the times to come, she lets you be reborn. You don't hold the memories of who you were before, but you do hold on to your instincts. 
I see. <laughs> In the charming way lowlanders do. Look, I feel the same way about your own drone stay. Don't feel bad. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I completely understand. It's just... You next in line? I know! <gasps> the, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think I'm going to be any good at it. I've never wanted to lead. I've met the people that want to be Thane. It's a very certain type, and I don't think I'm it. I've also taken into consideration two of the holds think I'm an abomination and won't be dead! Can you honestly imagine them talking to me as an equal? I can't! <sighs> and he kind of goes like this, okay, either your Thane is completely stupid, or he's being completely stupidly honest. Yeah, exactly. So grateful you understand that. Yeah, I mean, if you do become Thane, what of us? That's the reason I didn't want to bring this up in front of the group first. I... we talked about seeing the basin, but... <sighs> Gods! Gets up, paces, runs hands through her hair. Why can't we just have normal first date conversations? Like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite animal? Do you have any crazy exes I should be worried about? Why don't we get to be normal for five seconds? Dan Daniel will say, Yeah, I understand. I mean, this adventure that you guys are on is pretty wild. But, um... You being Thane... I... I'll completely agree. I don't see that in you. Thank you. So... Well, if the Thane says that you truly are supposed to be next in line, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. And that scares me. Yeah. He places a hand on your shoulder and he goes, It's okay. I understand how you're feeling. It's just... It needs to take some time. Besides, besides, who knows? There might be someone else who's worthy of becoming the thing. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> it's what if it, what if I am supposed to be this though, and I don't answer that destiny, and the person who takes the spot sets us back. Eagle Reach, post blight, we are starting to open up. Another person who comes in might take that away and might make us what we were before. I... I don't know. I don't know either. But all, all we need to know is that if this next Thane is like your Thane, the current one that's still living, then possibly we can convince him or her that... Lowlanders are not what they seem to be. Yeah. yeah. Also, one other thing. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for two relatively big bombs close together. I swear I was... Well, I never thought of myself as a secretive person before all this began. Um, both... Roland and my ma seem to be hung up on this whole I'm going to die prematurely idea and I haven't shared with the group because I mean how do you say that I don't know if Roland's brought it up with you no so he hasn't to be honest uh, I, I keep telling him what happened to you and he he did say that you died once after you gave birth to him but then and your mother said that you're going to die prematurely? Yeah, but as do the keys and Bellinos. Okay. Something tells me that we need to try and find a way to prevent that. Yeah, I've been working on that. 
Alright. Well, if you want to discuss the plan now, then I'm all ears. I have nothing. Uh, of course you do. I know! I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. Because I don't know the scenario. At the same time, even if I did know the scenario, I don't want to go self-fulfilling prophecy because I set myself up to fail. Robots, robots. Just speak to me. Uh, just listen to me first. Honestly, just try not to think about it. Just focus on the now. Okay. Then, once Lyra passes her test, then we can think of what will happen um, after. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. But I appreciate that you brought this up, Rovas. I mean... <sighs> I know. Why can't we have normal first day conversations? I know. Seriously, though. But any crazy exes I have to be afraid of? From me? Obviously. You're adorable. Can't imagine you have to have at least dated one other person before me. Uh... N no. Um, I mean, Ethan used to, but... Not... Not really. Okay. Just... Alright. So, you ready for... Ready for the test? As I'll ever be. Alright. I guess we should go and see the auger then, huh? Yeah, I actually need to talk to Lyra real quick. Alright, I'll be waiting outside. Alright. And he just walks off. Oh, and uh, before he leaves, uh, he gives you a kiss on the cheek. Aw. <laughs> and then just... Just, and he'll say, just remember what I said, alright? I will. Alright, I'll see you later. Yeah. And he goes off. Whoo! Wow! Yeah. Thank you. Now it's time for Robots and Lyra to interact. Yes. So, Lyra, you see that Daniel comes down and he looks relieved. And he just waits outside. And then you see Rovas coming down. Just also relieved as well. But she looks kind of serious. And, and you can assume that she wants to talk to you. Um, Lyra's kind of like playing with her hands nervously. Then when she saw Rovas, she looked up and said, Is something wrong? Uh, let's not I just went through that with Daniel. If I'm going to do this again, I want the whole party. Now, this, this is about you. Comes over, rest her hands on Lyra's shoulder. Okay, I get you're kind of an atheist. Am I wrong in assuming this? Uh, no. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, however, you are Avar reincarnate. Roll with me on this, just nod your head and agree. Okay. So, <laughs> hopefully, I'm gonna say something that's gonna resonate with your soul, maybe bolster your confidence a little. Alright? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Rest her hands on your shoulders. Gods, forgive us, we do not leave an offering for you this day, but I do invoke your name to help my friend today. Rilla of the Fireside, grant her serenity and warmth in her coming trials. May she show the cleverness of Imha. May she show the swift, icy vengeance of Hakun's jaws. May she show the strength of Koth in a second wind in whatever combat she undergoes. Lady, please do not call this one's soul to your side this day. She is needed here. Zephrost, our bear, wisdom. It's in your name she travels that she undergoes this trial, this test. See her as worthy as I do. For she is worthy. Okay. God's got this one, and she's gonna pull you into a hug. She'll hug All back. Right. All right. In the hug, 
Bovas, you start feeling the keys starting to resonate. And it's not going to activate the armor, but it's it's a sure way sign to say that the gods are with you. Yes. That's a good omen. <laughs> All I right. hope the spirits are liking me. <laughs> Just... Alright, we got this. Let's go! All good time!